time to cur. Hello, oh, time to cur. Welcome back. <laughs> Hello. To time to cur. And I just have come to wish a wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. You are welcome. It has been a privilege to talk to you, and this is a holiday, and I am just here to wish you great love and understanding. It is a holiday that would seem to emphasize the importance of the ascension, the moving forward of love, the moving forward of connection. I am here to connect with all of you and to let the world know that I understand it better now than ever. But I have only come for a moment. If there are a few questions, I may answer. Zucker, yes. I just, can I can I interject with just a statement? Wonderful. Okay. I just want to thank you for the changes that you have had, and I can only hope that I can come to the same understanding that you have come to uh, about humankind. Thank you. It was not easy for me at first. I understand that. I could not see who you really were because I had seen only my people and those that were very civilized. But I understand now that your civilization is going through growing pains. And so I apologize for my original thoughts. But I love you now individually. I have learned to love you individually. Is there any questions? I, I have a yeah. question. Uh, I, I've been feeling in my head like I'm stuck in my head something. I don't know what, and it hurts sometimes. You know when you feel that? stuck in your head, yeah, then you are stuck. Say to yourself, you are no longer stuck. You are moving forward. Tell yourself you are moving forward because that is the only way not to be stuck. If you believe that you are stuck, you are, but you actually are moving forward. You cannot stay in one place at all times. Change is inevitable. Yeah. Moving forward is inevitable. The turning of your planet is inevitable. And so as you turn on your planet, you change. Yeah, I feel, like I, I feel like I change, but it's one big part of my brain that doesn't, are feeling very stuck. I cannot Well, really tell use. your brain it is not. It is moving forward. And if you say it as many times as you can, you will start to understand that that is part of your cycle. And your cycle will move forward, even though you do not understand that it is. It always will. Thank you so much. And I want to thank you for, for help. And there's no problem that you fought badly in some senses from us from the beginning because that t taught you something. Yes, it did. It taught me a great lesson. And I'm thankful for that. And it was probably part of my contract as well. Yes. Hello, Kurt. Hello. How are you today? I am of great happiness. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Um, I was just uh, wishing to ask a question about uh, if uh, you have any messages for me and uh, how is my kid doing uh, have, and when, when is the chances I'll be able to teleport to physically and uh, interact and meet with my kid because uh, I hadn't. We are, we are working on these things now. Interaction right now has been stopped by the governments. They do not allow us to transport site to site. They say it is a breach of confidence and loyalty to the treaty that we made. We are considering breaking it anyway, but this 
would could be dangerous. But we would love to have you come and see your child. Yes, now your child is doing very well. What is the yeah. name of your child? All the, the children. children. What is the name? Uh, Stephen. Name is yes. Me. Yes. Yes, we do know. <laughs> they said he was cocky. Uh, that's it for me. He is very forthright and speaks his mind quite clearly and does not put up with any guff. A he word I just learned recently. Yes? Thank you. Jakar. Yes. I have a question. How is my yes, daughter Barbara. Finn's again? You broke up, and I did not hear anything after the word daughter. How is my daughter Fenza doing? Ah, Fenza. Very good. She is a sweet one. Very calm and understanding. Very quiet. And she moves. She is like you in many ways. She is very understanding and very soft in her thought patterns. She is very happy where she is, but she would like to meet you. I would love to meet her. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hello, Sir? to her. Yes. Who is speaking? Ah, yes. I have a question. Uh, could you please update us with our ascension so far? This is Noah. We what about our ascension? I did not hear uh, that. Our update us with our ascension, our human colony's ascension. Yes. How are we doing? How are we doing so far? Any you are updates? moving. You have your moments when you are only moving slowly, but sometimes, like this day, you move quickly. There are times recently where you have moved very quickly forward. Not all at once, but you pull each other up, and sometimes you pull each other in a sideways, but you're still moving forward, but just slow each other down occasionally. Sometimes it is because you disagree with one another, but you are still connected and still right. love each other, and you are doing well. You have learned much in the last year. You have learned a much, how to love each other in a much greater way, how to become a community, and how to feed off of one another's strengths. Do you understand that? Yeah, of course. Did you update me with my two kids? You are what? Update oh, me yes, with my two sure. kids, my hybrid children. Yes. <laughs> Aditya and Aline, the girl. Yes, they're... One moment. Let me check on them. There are so many here now. It is hard to keep track. But you are Noha, so I understand where your children are. Yes, they are fine. And uh, they're very intelligent, both of them. One, the girl like? is very... The girl is very pretty. Great, great. And the guy? He's Who very handsome? strong. And yes, I'm sure he will become more handsome. He is Great. still going through a period of change. Right. I asked for more two, two more kids. Yeah. yeah yes. I want two more kids also. Another girl and another another boy. We are trying to handle the hybrid population. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, appreciate it. I love you so much. Love Thank you as well. Thank you. Are you saying we can request children? Yes, yeah, you can request children. But it's a longer process now, just as coming to the colonies is a longer process because we now have almost 300 people coming to the colonies. And so we have to spread them out so that we can handle the influx. So some of you that have gone many times in the past have not gone recently because we're bringing new people there understandably to have some lessons but you will be coming back 
the, the thing is, right now, is that there are so many of you that want to come. It is becoming uh, difficult to schedule 300 individuals in the different colonies, especially with all the work that we're doing with the weather. As you know, the weather there is different than it has been ever before, at least in your time. The curve. Can you yes. Me? How are you? I am wonderful, sir. I am glad to speak to you. I'm glad as well. I want to ask if I can have any Lyran hybrid children. If I can yes, be I on the list. Yes, you already did ask that. Um, I believe you wrote, asked that before, and that is being processed already. Really? I never asked yeah. that... Uh, in Perhaps you asked, are you sure? Because yes. I believe that you are being processed at this time for a Lyran child. It may take a little while since we have so many requests, but we did hear yours. Hmm. If I can have um, a female and a male, if there will be room for them, it will be like... Would you like twins? Hmm, okay. A female and, and a male. Now twins. Hmm. Yes. That can be arranged. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I want to know if my Syrian infusion started. It has. You are at 1.3%. <laughs> can I give you, you permission? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel yes. a little lighter within the like, last five days? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Can I... Ask for more? Once we've completed that, we will check and see if more is available to be given to you, if you could handle more. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if I could complete my Yahil, I believe I have nearly 10%. You are done with your Yahil. That is why the Syrian is started. As, so I have 10% Yahil? Yes. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Hello, Tucker. This is Brian. Brian, how are you? Good, my friend. How um, is your children? Logan's doing okay. He's doing better. Um, I think he's handling it okay. Sometimes he wakes up and he has like these beans that are looking at him. Um, it's died down a lot. It's not so intense, which that's what I've been really hoping for, so it's not so intense for him. Um, yes, but that's he, the one. We were trying to make it less frightening for him, especially when he sleeps. He doesn't mind it every once in a while during the day. It's just when he's trying to sleep, he he really needs he's his rest. Ultra sensitive to the beings around him. Yes. it is very rare to have someone that's sensitive. Yes. So it is not. They are not even aware that he sees them until he becomes frightened. Yes, I understand now. Uh, the other thing is. This coming May, the month of May, um, I'm going to make a request to come out and visit Jim uh, yeah. for at least three, three to four days. Um, I will be. meet with you. Yes, I will meet with you and have some sessions and Reiki sessions. And uh, it's yes. time that we talk about contact. And I, w I, I, I want to give you a hug in your, in, through Jim, through you. Very so I love, I love you very much, my friend. Thank you. I love you as well. You will have many great qualities. Hi, right. Hello, Who is Dicker. Yes. Caroline. Hi, Dicker. Caroline, is yes. that correct? Hello. Hello. What is your question? Um, yeah. I uh, he did not hear any question. Okay. Has Freya been born yet? Not yet. Okay. 
Um, also, have I got any chakra blockages and also is my pineal gland healthy? One moment and I will check for you. Thank you. I will send, I will get the message from those that are around you protecting you. Thank you. There is no blockages, but they need brightened. The silver chakra in your aura is dull. They will help you with that. Thank also, you. you have your sacral chakra and solar plexus chakras are needing brightening. Your heart chakra is fine, but it is being affected by the other dullnesses. Okay, yeah. I did wonder. Your third eye is not opening as quickly as I would want, but it yeah. is opening very slowly. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else, um, I can do to kind of help things along? It will open. There are things that you are doing that are fine. You are meditations are not as deep as they could be okay that will I'm help just... okay um how about my pineal gland is that um calcified or is that fine one moment i will check with those around you thank you do you feel pressure at the top of your mouth on the roof of your mouth not really do you feel a tingling there? Um, not, not really. Okay, one moment, please. What about now? Yeah. Yeah. Your pineal gland is in healthy shape. Lovely. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, much love. Much love, Lainey. Uh, hello, Tucker. How are you? I'm fine. I wanted to ask if I'm going through any changes energetically or physically because I've been feeling different for the past few days. That is, if you do not mind me speaking freely, that is sort of a private matter. That's fine. They are actually attuning your genitals to be able to mate with others. Is that all? There is other things happening as well. Um, there is a slight change in thought process and there is a slight change in the beat of the heart. Because if they are going to use you in the attendant manner before we are able to transport, of course. Um, there are some changes that had to be made. Oh, also, what's going on with my forehead? Also, the permission for, yes. Oh, permission. Um, also, what's yeah, going on in my forehead? Whatever it takes, so that is what they're doing. Wait, I told them that? You told them that it would be fine if you went through some changes and they are doing that. So what's going on in my forehead? Yes. My That's the third eye. eye. The, the activation of the third eye helps with the different things in the body. Yes, it is like an overseer to the changes. Oh. Thank you. But there okay. will not be that much change 
do not be uh, uh, mm -hmm. concerned. You will not notice any major changes. These are all very subtle. Oh, are you able to go any further into what these changes would do? Um, not at this time. But you will understand. Yes, it is like an overseer to the changes. Thank yes. you. Um, yes. Thank you. You will understand all the changes after they are complete because you will notice a great deal of more vitality within yourself. A greater vitality, I should say. Uh, could you repeat that? There were some audio issues. You will discover a greater vitality within yourselves when everything is complete. Even though they are sub subtle, they will affect your energy fields in a positive way. Okay. What's my field like uh, now? It's fine. You okay. are healthy. Healthy. Yes. Thank you. You okay, go on. I want to invite Dan and also Hyann to speak. Hyann, I just want to mention a big thank you for dropping earlier and allowing space. Much love, brother. Uh, if that's if that's fine with uh, Shabapo, because uh, she was before in the order, so I, I don't mind waiting for a um, couple more questions before I speak. Very good. Continue. Who is next? Uh, I am. Um, all right. <clears throat> Hello, Tucker. Much love to you. Much love to you, Hayan. Thank you for all that you do. You are a very helpful human. Oh, glad to hear that. So, Continue. Um, uh, can what I, I heard from uh, Buddha that your third eye could be too open? Yes. What, what would that uh, mean? That your eye, third eye, can be too open when you bring in everything and not just the things that should be brought in. The third eye can be controlled. Of course, people want to have it open. The opening of the third eye in a proper way will make you understanding and wise and give you vision into fourth dimensional thought patterns. If you open your third eye too far, which is usually not by choice, usually it is by drug, indiction, uh, drug enhancement or different outside things that will cause it to open up too wide. Then you will see things as you will not be able to live in a third dimensional thought pattern. Let me put it that way. Your thought patterns will be extreme. You will then be craving perhaps too much sex, perhaps too much uh, stimulation for your body because your third eye is too open. It causes overstimulation of every part of your body, including the brain. Does that make sense to you? So you won't be satisfied by regular You would not be satisfied and you could not grow properly when your body, when your third eye is too open. Now, the, the reason it gets too open is with the help of drugs, usually, or with a psychotic break something in the brain is chemically not functioning correctly and it causes that to open wide and your senses become addictive and they become you you have addictive personality then you would want drugs or you would want food or you would want oh you're but you would not be normal you would not sense reality the way that it should be sensed or you would want DNA too much? No, that's DNA would not change necessarily, but be parts of it would be activated that would not necessarily, or overactivated that would not necessarily be that activated. Hmm. 
So okay. now I will tell you, give you an example of this. There are some that are in autistic states or different mental states that their third eye opens very wide and they cannot understand third dimension. They live in a fourth dimensional activity. They, mm -hmm. they see third dimension as very literal, meaning they cannot sense the abstract parts of it. There are abstract parts to the third dimension. They only see the abstract parts when they're in their fourth dimensional thought pattern, when they're in the third eye wide open, and they cannot relate that to Earth. So when you say something like, check your work, they would put a check mark on it. That example was given to me by someone else. Instead of them re-looking over their work, when you say check it, they put a check mark on it because their third dimensional understanding is literal. Does that make sense to you? The abstract part of that would be to reassess your work. But all they can see is the, the literal. Does that make sense to you? That's just one example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes so a lot of sense. Why there are people confused about religion. They can only see the literal part of it because there was some chemical problems in their brain and everything is literal and nothing can be understood properly because the Bible, in many senses, is a diagram of symbols and, and um, thought patterns that are abstract. But yet they see everything literally there. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan, welcome. Jump in, and then I can ask again. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it was about the idea of the literal um, being taken literally. Uh, perhaps the um, the understanding that sometimes we aren't very specific when we're speaking. It can also play a fundamental part to guess confusing people who have um, symptoms such as autism and so on. Perhaps, yes. perhaps uh, as a species, we also need to kind of accept that there are people who do take things extremely literally. Exactly. So, not in people. the way of changing ourselves, but in the way of expanding to allow these people to have a, that little bit extra freedom with the way that they work as well. Yes, because they see it as they are being correct. Do you understand? The literal is the correct in the third dimension, whereas it that is a deception because they are not correct, but they see the literal as correct. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So kind of like a double-edged so sword. They... they do not perceive the abstract part of third dimension and therefore when they live in their fourth dimension it is totally abstract without any third dimension. Yeah, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. I understood what you said and I hope I understood the an you understood the answer. Yeah. So if you want to uh, decrease these, uh, this opening of the third eye, if it's too much. Yes, there are, you can meditate with your third eye wide open. You can still meditate. And if you so know that your third eye is wide open, which many do not, then you can do a meditation to close it. And you can have others close it for you. If you detect that someone's third eye is wide open all the way to the, the, bray, the sides of the head, the head, you can help them by meditating for them to help it to close because they cannot perceive properly. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. This good. is a very... I could speak about the third eye being too open for a lot of time.
<laughs> but it yeah. does not really not very good because most of you, 99% of you, have your eyes opening properly. Yeah. It is it is not the common thing. Yeah, I felt that my third eye is very open, but now that you gave that explanation, I don't think it's too open. I think no, it is not. Terrible. You are fine. Yeah. You are fine. Okay. Um, so my I feel that I my dreams were very very clear for one one time, and I still have a lot of dreams, but they have become more symbolic again. And yes. I feel the difference when I'm in Hukula or just astrally or, or, or. But uh, there's, there has been a shift, like you could say a decrease of remembrance. Uh, and I wonder why is that? Is it my subconscious that... No, you just much? need a break from it for now. It, you cannot continue to have lucid dreaming constantly. You have to have a break from it. You have to have regular REM sleep because it does affect your sleep. So do not worry about that. It will return when it is supposed to. These vivid dreams, very meaningful, but they must slow down and then speed back up. You are on... Every human has a wave. Every being has a wave, has a frequency. So that is part of the frequency that you become. And part of that lucid dreaming will come back. OK, yeah, that makes sense. I sometimes feel I enjoy the regular dreams as well. Yeah. But who is uh, doing that in me? Who is or giving is you it, the lucid dreams? No, who you is are. Uh, decreasing, decreasing it? Who is it? You are. Your body functions are on wavelengths. Your body knows when you need to rest, and your body knows when you can handle greater sensitivity, and your body knows when... Your brain is a very intricate machine, and it knows when to slow down and when to speed up. And it does it okay. automatically, just like your heart automatically beats. All right. Thank you very much. You're Sabrina welcome. had a dream. She was in her bedroom with her son. And uh, they got up to get... Uh, there was water coming down from the ceiling uh, and to the walls. And they got up and went to the hallway to go and... Uh, and out of my out of her room, something, and there was a spaceship. She saw a spaceship, and yes. uh, uh, when when individuals are in a dream state and are moving through astral projections, they sometimes appear to be sea water because they are in a watery like feeling and so that would make sense to me however the her son is also part of another dimension another thought process and another part of Yukolo as well it is difficult I will speak to her about it okay okay maybe it's too difficult to, to talk it is this. not it is not pertinent to the group Yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much. You can go. I'm going to go now. Sarah, I ask a question. Oh, I thought Barbara was going next, but um, I have uh, questions if that's no okay. Question. Yes. I was not aware. Continue. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Um, I had, while walking and sharing energy, I connected to a being it felt like in the water, and I wasn't sure whether it was a mermaid or a siren. Um, what else in that dream? What else? It, you connected to a I being in the water. It, it, Did you see it? Did you see the being? In the water? Yes. 
Little body. It was, Yitawa. You saw something in the water. Yes, but I wasn't anywhere near water. I understand. Yes, that would be only a mer only a mermaid could do that. Send a vision to you when you are not near the water. And they oh. do exist. They still do. And all the worlds know about them. All governments know that mermaids still exist. Oh. Why they do not want anyone to know is a... It's a... <laughs> because um, they do... Well, I wasn't sure if it was an aspect of me. It, it could be in some senses. They are an aspect of you. You are an aspect of them. You are one in your thought pattern. When they send, when they send a thought, you become one. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Also, I had a question about my. Um, you. You said my hybridization of the Usas and the Lyran, and it was a couple. It was four of them. Yes. How's that going? Very well. We will speak about that. But you are. You. Uh, the Yugil is finished. Oh, my Yugil is finished. Very yes. nice. And um, they, there was another one starting, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. They have okay. to check and see that the Yuyil has taken and will be fine. Okay, very well. Also, I wanted to ask a question about soul codes. Because I asked this of Douglas, but I'm not sure if he knew too much information about it. And I had soul. a dream. Soul Codes, C O D E S, codes. Oh, yes, codes, yes. Um, what about? Did I provide any for a planet? Yes, you did. You have an understanding of soul codes that not many do. You see, the, the coding of the soul is the contract. Once the contract is married, the soul must be coded. This is what you do. And it can be coded in different ways in different species. So you have an understanding of how to do it in about four different species. But there are others that code other species. But this one, but you have a, an understanding of the, the coding for four species. Because I, I keep seeing a gentleman's face from my dream. What yes. planet did I go to? You went to several. Which one are you talking about? There was one where, it for some reason, a passport was very important, and everyone looked as if they were from an Indian-type country, like the features, either Arabic or Indian. Mm -hmm. And okay. there was this huge party, and they were all amazed that I was there, and who yes. are they? Um... I cannot tell you at this time. I know who they are, and I will speak to you about it. Okay. They Thank cannot you. be named at this time because they are two galaxies away. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, the children. I would like to know yeah. how they are doing. I believe there's five of them. <laughs> yes. Can you give me some names so I can check on them individually? Okay, there is. Ooh, I wrote them down because there's so many. The long doll. Continue. Uh, I'm trying to find their names. Oh no. <laughs> but um, can... there are Lyran and uh, Human. There is a uh, Octurian one, I believe. Yes. <laughs> there are so many children, it's best to have their names. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, my goodness. I, I didn't know I was going to be able to speak with you, but you can let someone go ahead if someone All else right. I got to find it someone else. Is there anyone that has a question? I must go I'm, soon. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Uh, not so much of a question, though, to her. It's um, more of... 
Okay. In a language understanding. There are two um, people speaking at once. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll just go ahead with it. Tua takasha totu nuakala. Hua tosho shasa kita to bundala. Tuska das was kita shut koto in their clata to. Tuko asho in tua kawat is sindium piakwa. Ora one su su sua. Tiranta. Tiranta asho. Uta kato sho tunoko, yata ka, stika tu kudu snak ditash. Tiara kukare, era hosho. E hostokwa. Thank you very much. Mukotiam kwa. Muha. One quick question, please, uh, to Kerr. I've been told that my third eye is open, and yet uh, I don't see anything much of it. It's only what I see by the lines. You are not. You are not focused on it. You are. You're focused on your third dimension, which it will also do. But when you focus in your meditations on the third eye, you should find many other things. Okay. Just. Thank you. Um, is Jim okay? Um, everything at the moment. Uh, are you fine to carry on for a few more questions? A few more questions will be acceptable. I Thank have the names you. now. I would like to um, to invite Ruth and Mikey. Um, also, Sarah has a follow up, and we're going to end it there, guys. Yes. Uh, Mustafa. Mustafa. Ahasha. Vincent Jin, Geliunia, uh, oh, that's the one from a thousand years. Never mind with that one. Um, Mustafa, oh. he got Yeah. Yes, very, Mustafa is good. Um, Mustafa is good. Very, very strong. Um, powerful muscles. It seems oh. that he, physicality is very strong. Yes. The brain is also strong. However, brutal strength, very strong. Interesting. And actually, not harmful though. A calm disposition. Yes, continue. Mm -hmm. What was another name? Ahashara. Ah, Ahashara. Very pleasant, very, but uh, quick to anger. Um, very human likeness. <laughs> what is funny? <laughs> you say quick to anger. <laughs> is that is that all right? Yeah. I mean that is what, what it is, but um, okay, continue. Okay. There's much to, I cannot Vincent stay long. Jin. Vincent Jin. Vincent Jin. Vincent Jin. Greet you, for a while. They will have to check on Vincent Jin. They, no report has come in today. But the, the last report is that Vincent Jin is um, walking around, talking uh, a great deal of, uh, knows two languages already. Oh, okay. lovely. Well, I'll stop there and let other people go. Agigawa. Very headstrong, very, very intelligent, but headstrong. Okay, uh, there's vision in his vi The vision is far beyond the normal, the norm. Continue. Mm -hmm. Corlin. Corlin. Very demure, shy, very not confident yet, but 
um, smart and resourceful, so entertains herself a lot. Mm-hmm. Continue to the next. Uh, it says Pleiadian boy, but um, did I ever give a name? No, you never did. Okay. Uh, Samson. Samson. Playful. <laughs> Curious. Very, very vocal. Constantly talking. Constantly co- talking and playing and interacting. Questioning everything. Lovely. Thank you. Yes. I'm not sure if you will have any information of the child a thousand years in the future. No, I would not. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Next. Ruth, Ruth, would you like to go ahead? And also, Mikey, I'd like to give an opportunity just briefly, if please make them brief, to go and Jim are both very tired. Uh, hello, Tucker. This is Safira. Safira, hello. Hi. <laughs> I have a, a two questions. Um, you know that uh, our S- S- Liren son was born, right? Um, Jace, yes. Jace, Jace. Um, without saying the other party's name until they want to say it. Um, it how much has been announced. Oh, they did. Okay, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, how much DNA is mine and how much is his? I'm curious. It was 50-50. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. That is the way it always is when there is a two donors. They make sure that they are equal. Okay. Thank you very much. And um, I had a um, question. My son. I had a dream that my son... And ET was taking blood out of my son's head, with a, with a. It was connected to some, some tubes, and they were taking blood out of his head. <laughs> and I, this is Benedetto, and I have no idea what that could possibly mean. I don't know if you do. Well, hopefully it was a dream, but they're infusing him with wisdom and thoughts, and they're taking uh, away some of his. For fear of the things that he must do. Um, that is all. It is more okay. symbolic than realistic. I see. Okay. Um, thank you. I have been trying to communicate with you about Jason. Uh, I've been trying to talk with you. Are you having trouble getting through to me? Am I blocked to you to some reason, for some reason? You are around many relatives. Um, you need to be away from them for me to communicate. Oh, I see, but I live here. I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good to talk with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any others, or should I leave now? No, it's up Mike. To you and no. to Jim. Um, Mike. Mikey. Mikey, you're next, I think. Yes, hello. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. <laughs> yes, uh, this week I was taken up during my dream to a planet with two suns. Yes. And I was there are with many a group. Planets. Yeah, this yes. one, this one, it was a gathering, and yes. uh, they asked a group of um, six of us to stand up, and then they asked me to stand up and said come forward and there was about 10,000 people there yes and I jumped in the air and was caught in a tractor beam and I turned to the man which I couldn't really see his face and said will you take care of me he said yes and then I was pulled forward towards a stage and it felt like ecstasy and I was being cleaned 
and then something flashed and I woke up. And it's yes. been bothering me ever since. And I was just wondering if you can read anything on that. Well, you were not alone. There were the six uh, people that were there were from Human Colony, all. Oh. And it was a celebration of different things. It was a congratulatory get-together for things that you have done and experienced and growth that you have made. Kim <laughs> was also there. Um, yeah, there, there was some people looking at me like I was an orb, but they like looked through me, yes. but I could still see them. And there's some people here that I, I, I haven't been here in a while, but and I don't know what they look like, but they were looking at me, and I, I sort of knew them. Some were uh, Indian looking, some had long blonde hair, short hair, and I don't know what these people really look like, most of them. Kim has but I really... long blonde hair. Oh, cool. Well, then I saw, it, it, it's quite an experience in that tractor beam. I'm used to going upwards into a ship, but I was going horizontally. That is uh, fine, yeah. Floating. It was a celebration from Amotok's civilization. Oh, well, blessings and, and thank you. And I wish that again for everyone, too. <laughs> Kim works with Almata quite exclusively at this point. But she was there because there were some congratulatory things happening. Also, there was other people from Human Colony that were being rewarded for some of their actions. Oh, well, congratulations. And there was also a floating toy beside me. And I guess it was a representation of who was on the ship. There was three peop three um, beings. One yes. I thought was a doctor. One I thought was security. And one I yes. thought was head head of ship. And I was showing people, oh, this is where we're going. Yes. And these three people are represented on this toy. Does that make sense? Yes. These do to Kerr and Pen, uh, to Pat. Incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I'm speechless. Thank you. And I love you. And have a nice, lovely day. <laughs> yes, have a wonderful day. Happy Valentine's Day. And to you. <laughs> Thank you, Tikka. Thank you, Tikka. I'm going to go now. Thank you, Jimmy. love you. Say Thank hello you. to Kalish for me. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful blessings. And to you, dear yeah. one. Thank you so much. And uh, oh, God, yeah, that's look forward to your next oh, yeah. time. <laughs>